正会。Rebirth of the malicious empress of military lineage, Chapter 135, Nightmare. It was me that sent you the invitation, King Yi. Chang Zai King was startled for a moment and asked, somewhat puzzled, "Fifth young lady, this is the previous time King Yi came and went hurriedly, so I did not have a good chat with King Yi." King Yi mentioned that one will come visit again. But I had waited for quite some time, but did not see King Yi, so one had to send over an invite first. Fearing that my seal was not appropriate, my mother's seal was used. King Yi will not blame me, right? Chang Zai King looked at the young female in front of her. She was quietly speaking with a smile and was not at all embarrassed. If one were to continue to press on it. It would seem that Chang Zai King was too calculative. Chang Zai King smiled on the spot. How can it be? It is Zai King's fortune to be invited by fifth young lady. As she was speaking, she was sizing Shen Miao up quietly. The previous time in the Shen Mansion, even though Shen Miao was not indifferent to her, she was definitely not warm, and there were a few times of rudeness. To be suddenly invited unfathomably, it had already set off a warning in Chang Zai King's heart. The main hall is very cold. It is better that King Yi come to my room to sit. Shen Miao stood up with a smile. It is not far from here. I really cannot stand this cold wind. Chang Zai King amenably complied. When reaching Shen Miao's room, Shen Miao instructed the maid to serve tea and cakes. The fire brazier was burning and the window was opened with a small slit before the door was closed. The room was very warm but was not stuffy. Shen Miao pushed the tea in front of Chang Zai King. Chang Zai King smiled as she picked the cup up to take a sip. Before her expression became somewhat weird, this is Zhu Dan tea. It tastes very bitter and rough, but smell fragrant. King Yi most likely is not used to drinking it. Shen Miao explained with a smile. Chang Zai King's expression paused for a moment as she was made somewhat puzzled with this move of Shen Miao's. With the way of hospitality, one would naturally bring out the best tea leaves. So upon using this poor grade of tea. Was it to humiliate her? But based on Shen Miao's expression, it did not seem to be the case. Even though this tea is bitter, it is extremely good for the body. When one drinks it during winter, it would drive the cold away and maintain warmth. My father and older brother are all people who practices martial arts. Thus, will naturally drink Zhu Dan tea during winter. Later, even the entire residence all drank this kind of tea. Shen Miao looked at Chang Zai King. King Yi is from a scholarly family and most likely do not like to drink this kind of tea. But as we are a military family, we are not particular. Chang Zai King waved as she laughed. Fifth young lady is joking. The Chang family is an ordinary family. Even though this Zhu Dan tea is bitter, it is good for one's health, so one will not find it rough after drinking for a long time. Shen Miao shook her head. It is easy to constrain oneself for a period of time. But it is difficult to constrain oneself in one's entire lifetime. Chang Zai King was surprised for a moment and felt that there were hidden meanings in Shen Miao's words. Thus, she could not help but look at Shen Miao. Shen Miao smiled. Speaking of which, one heard that King Yi is currently residing in the Shen residence. Is the people of the Shen residence treating King Yi well? Very well. Chang Zai King smiled. They take great care of me. You have similar interests with Third Shen, so one would think that both of you will be able to hit it off. Shen Miao smiled. Third Shen all along liked to indulge in literary skills, and Third Shu originally respected her a lot because of it. Most likely, you have also seen that Third Shu treats Third Shen very well. In the entire Third household, there is only Third Shen, one matriarch. She then sighed after speaking. It is a pity that Third Shen does not have a son. If there is a son, she would not need to be so worried. Chang Zai King had been in the Shen residence for a long time, thus she naturally knew about the matter of the lack of heirs in the third household. Chen Rikayu and Old Shen Furin got into conflicts about it almost daily. It was just that she did not expect that Shen Miao would actually talk to her about the matter. Shen Miao was, after all, an unmarried young lady. 
so it would be somewhat awkward to mention about matters in the third household. However Shen Miao spoke those words naturally as if this was a matter not worth mentioning, making Chang Zai King unable to differentiate if Shen Miao was naive or prematurely wise. With third Furin's kindness, sons and grandsons will pervade the hall. Chang Zai King went along with Shen Miao's words. Naturally one would like to compare the first and third household, Shen Miao picked up the teacup and blew at the tea leaves floating on the surface before smiling, one civil, one military. Both courtyards only have one matriarch but fortunately our residence is better as we still have our eldest brother. He is also reaching the age to marry. After some time, one would help to pick a good marriage in the Ding capital. With a Sao Sao and later a nephew, this house would be bustling. Shen Miao seemed to be somewhat pleased but the third household is not as lively as our eldest household. Chang Zai King initially thought that Shen Miao was being childish and sulky with the third household but after listening to everything, she seemed to have suddenly thought about something and her facial expression changed. Correct. In Shen Xin's residence, Lu Zhu Yan is stupid, straightforward and was not oversensitive. The inner courtyard was clean so it was not difficult to put things in order. But she had forgotten that there was still one Shen Kaiyu. He was Lu Zhu Yan's the eldest son and was young and promising. In addition to marrying a wife of a strong family, even if she did not contend or vie, she would still be suppressed. Shen Miao saw the changes in Chang Zai King's face and her eyes became cold. In the previous life, when Chang Zai King finally stayed in Shen Xin's inner courtyard, Shen Kaiyu was no longer around, and Shen Miao was already married into Prince Ding's residence. There was no threat for Chang Zai King in the entire inner courtyard at all. With such a smooth sailing route, how would Chang Zai King not grab on such a good opportunity? But it was not the same now as Shen Kaiyu was perfectly well, with a living and healthy the eldest son here. The possibility of Chang Zai King being the wife would forever not come true. What kind of route would this female, who loved to scheme and weigh the pros and cons clearly, choose? Shen Mi outwhirled the cakes on the table and smiled, it is a real pity for third Shu. Originally when Zhu Fu, aka grandfather, was still around, he apparently said that third Shu was the most intelligent in the Shen family. He was dignified and scholarly, if he had a son he would be as smart as him. Unfortunately the third household only have second older sister, a daughter. Now that second older sister almost reached the age to get married, when she does, there would only be third Shu and third Shen, two people in the third household. It would be too lonely. Chang Zai King was originally listening absent-mindedly, but her heart moved upon hearing Shen Miao's words. Speaking of which, Shen Xin's and Shen Wan's inner courtyard were almost similar. Both only had one woman and both were so-called sentimental. And speaking of that, Shen Yu was also two years older than Shen Miao and would be married off soon and since there were no sons in the third household, it was even hard to come by. King Yi's and third Shen's temperament is similar and there are some small differences in demeanor. Both speak gently and have knowledge of many literary pursuits. If one did not know, one would thought that both of you are a pair of sisters. Shen Miao looked at Chang Zai King with a probing gaze and spoke unhurriedly, but in my opinion, King Yi is more outstanding than third Shen because King Yi is younger. Chang Zai King's lips unconscious hooked up. She was well aware that the people in the Shen residence compared her with Chen Rikayu since they were alike, both delicate and scholarly talented females. But what Shen Miao said was correct, no matter how beautiful a female was, even if one has great talent, once age caught up, the color would also wither. In comparison Chang Zai King was much more appealing with her youth. Moreover Chen Rikayu considered herself as a noble family D daughter and her actions were somewhat aloof, whereas Chang Zai King grew up in an ordinary home and knew how to compromise, to bow her head when it was time to bow, and read others' faces so everyone praises her. Chang Zai King's eyes were filled with thoughts. She was better than Chen Rikayu. Shen Miao picked up the teacup to drink, and the tea that entered her mouth was bitter but she drank it like it was as sweet as honey, and revealed a gentle smile. Chang Zai King was already 26 and in the Ding capital, 
for females at such an age to discuss about marriage, most would become concubines for others, or become a stepmother and raise children that did not crawl out of their wombs. Moreover the Chang family was a small family, even if one relied on the Shen family, it was still difficult to marry into a higher family. This Chang Zai king was one who tossed her husband and abandoned her son to find a better life so how would she be easily satisfied? It was just that she originally did not notice Shen Wan. Since Chang Zai King was best at weighing pros and cons, Shen Miao then directly talked about the empty house of the third household to Chang Zai King, so that she could choose herself. Chang Zai King's expression kept shifting like clouds, as her heart was in a mess. Shen Miao had evoked another thought in her heart, something that she had not noticed before. Correct. Since Shen Wan liked Chen Rikayu kind of character and she was better than Chen Rikayu in all ways, so how would one not be able to handle what Shen Wan's likes? Compared to Shen Xin, a military man, Shen Wan was a modest nobleman, with a graceful disposition and after all, she felt more at ease with this kind of person. But how did the matter today suddenly became like this? She originally wanted to listen to Chen Rikayu to feel out Shen Zin and she originally also fancy him, but at the end how did it turn around and became dealing with Chen Rikayu? It was because Shen Miao kept on talking of unrelated matters and distracted her. It was Shen Miao. Chang Zai King looked abruptly at Shen Miao. The purple-clad young female sat in front of the window. One did not know when did the snow outside stopped falling and the sun came out shining on half of her jade-like fair face. Her neck was slender as she held the cup of tea and slowly sip it to enjoy. But there was an untraceable prestige. Chang Zai King felt a cold sweat. It was as if she only realized now that from the start to the present, she was the person that was led by the nose by Shen Miao. Shen Miao hammered in the east and battered in the west, seemingly casually talking about unrelated matters. But the few words had directly turned the arrow towards Chen Rikayu. Shen Miao's every words were telling Chang Zai King to think towards the third household. This young female was by no means stupid or naive, but on the contrary was like a monster. Chang Zai King thought about the time when she first came to the Shen mansion. Shen Miao had been rude for several times and her heart jumped non-stop. Could it be that at that time Shen Miao already knew what kind of intention she had? So her rude incidents and even the deliberate invitation today was also because of it? Shen Miao looked at her and smiled gently. Why has King Yi started to perspire? Is it that the room is hot? Chang Zai King suddenly recovered herself and paid full attention as she looked at Shen Miao before saying with a smile. Most probably, Shen Miao said lightly, this room would be as uncomfortable as a cocoon that one spin around oneself when the windows are too closed up. It is better to open the window since it is much cooler outside. She instructed Jing's to open the windows before looking at Chang Zai King again. King Yi, am I right? Fifth young lady is correct. Chang Zai King forced a smile but she was a little more frightened as she looked at Shen Miao's smile. Her thoughts were hidden so deep, but Shen Miao was able to understand her intention with only a meeting. This kind of person was a monster with graceful bearing. It was fortunate that Chang Zai King discovered it early, else if she were to really enter Shen Zin's inner courtyard, Chang Zai King had no confidence to deal with such monster. Shen Miao gave a smile without caring at all. She had plainly and clearly told Chang Zai King, if you want to enter my father's courtyard, one have to see if you are able to deal with me first. If you cannot, then you deserve to die here. One fear that even on the road back one will be shot dead, hoist by one's own petard. Chang Zai King would not take unwarranted risks. She always found the most favorable and safest way for herself. Sure enough, Chang Zai King not long after speaking with Shen Miao, bid her farewell. Shen Miao naturally did not retain her and after Chang Zai King left, Gu Yu said curiously, why is that Chang family young lady so strange? She seemed to be hiding from someone who had scared her. Shen Miao said, go and instruct the servants not to mention about today's matters to anyone. Chang Zai King had not come to the Shen mansion. Remember that. The two maids complied and left. Even though they did not understand why Shen Miao was so concerned about Chang Zai King, 
They knew that Shen Miao had her own intention behind her actions, so the maids did not comment on it. When everyone left, Shen Miao then sat in front of the table and was somewhat lost in thoughts as she looked at the bronze mirror. Because Chen Rikayu was too hateful and had bounced around for far too long, thus she let Chang Zai King wreck Chen Rikayu. In the past life, the marriage contract between Chang Zai King and Shen Xin was accidentally found by Chen Rikayu. It was her who kept on saying not to wrong Chang Zai King and wanted to speak for Chang Zai King. As Shen Miao thought, she feared that in the previous life Chang Zai King had focused on Shen Xin, and most probably it was Chen Rikayu fueling this. Since they were two identical sisters and considered each other as good sisters, then might as well put them together at a corner to fight. Let us watch who Shen Wan actually like. Shen Miao's gaze got cold. Naturally she would be happy to throw Chen Rikayu to Chang Zai King to settle. But Chang Zai King would not let it go easily. Shen Miao only frowned. What exactly Chang Zai King did that resulted in Lu Zhu Yan's death? Till now, it was still a mystery. Because of Chang Zai King's matter, Shen Miao heart was focused excessively on it that even during dinner with the family, she was also thinking of the matter. Everyone saw that she had a heaviness in her heart, so Shen Miao said that she was a little tired. Lu Zhu Yan instructed others to make some sweet milk for Shen Miao, and let her rest early. Laying on the bed, Jing's and Gu Yu tucked her in and blew out the lights before putting down the gauze curtains. Shen Miao then closed her eyes. The skies darkened and her breathing gradually became smooth and steady. As the heavy night skies enveloped the entire Ding capital, Shen Miao's body floated. Suddenly the sun was shining brightly outside. She opened her eyes and only felt that it was somewhat glaring. The air seemed to have dried up as if it was summer. It was the beginning of winter so how would there be a summer day? Shen Miao got up and felt a surprising headache. As she looked down, she found herself sitting on the couch in the room and there was a female voice sounding from inside the room. A whiff of an extremely bitter taste spread over. The scent of medicine was actually somewhat familiar. Shen Miao stood up. There was not a single servant in the room and that female voice inside became more clearly. She thought for a moment before walking into the room to look. One only saw that in the spacious room. The windows were closed. The weather was originally very hot and with the windows closed, it made one breathless. Additionally to the annoying bitter medicine scent, it was as if her chest was blocked by something and made it exceptionally stuffy. Shen Miao took a few steps forward as she wanted to open the windows, but she then heard someone saying, Go open the windows. My heart feels very stuffy. Shin Miao was surprised for a moment. The female laying on the bed was haggard as she swore a dark beige cotton gown. Most likely it was too warm as her hair was soaked with sweat, and even the clothes were also mostly drenched in sweat. Her face was filled with defeat and her eyes revealed the color of death. Shin Miao's eyes widened. That was Lu Zhu Yan. When did Lu Zhu Yan had such a haggard appearance? It is better for older sister to lay down. The female sitting by the bedside comforted, it is not good to catch a cold in this kind of weather. Shen Miao turned her head towards that female, clad in simple light blue clothes but the materials were expensive. She was plainly dressed in a scholarly vibe and was at her prime age, a stark contrast with Lu Zhu Yan's air of death. Other than Chang Zai King, who else could it be? Chang Zai King rolled up the woman's hair and held Lu Zhu Yan's hand. It is better for older sister to get well. I cannot make it. Lu Zhu Yan weak voice was like the fine strand of a thread, and there was no more vitality in her eyes. My child is gone and one does not have any prospect. It does not matter if one live or not live on. It is a pity that these herbs are wasted. Older sister must not say that. Chang Zai King said, If fifth young lady know you think like this, she would be very sad. Zhao Zhao. Lu Zhu Yan's gaze turned painful. Shen Miao took a step forward and wanted to hold Lu Zhu Yan's hands, but her hands passed through Lu Zhu Yan's. It was as if she did not exist. Zhao Zhao hates me. Lu Zhu Yan closed her eyes, but what other way do I have? The Shen family cannot be tied to Prince Ding. He can hide it from Zhao Zhao but cannot deceive me. Zhao Zhao now hate me and Da Zin already know that she is not even willing to take a look at me. With Prince Ding current actions, 
what can Zhao Zhao do in the future, there is no more route to go. The more she said, the more heartbroken she became. She suddenly used the handkerchief to cover her mouth and coughed a few times. When she opened the handkerchief again, there was a burst of bright red blood in it. Older sister must not think about it. Chang Zai King comforted her, fifth young lady is currently temporary strayed off. Perhaps His Highness Prince Ding really treat her very well. Moreover, there would not be any long animosity between parents and children, so fifth young lady would understand in the future. This hate is only temporary. Shin Miao glared at Chang Zai King angrily. Chang Zai King's words were reassuring but it was in fact adding fuel into the fire as it made it true that Shen Miao hated Lu Zhu Yan. In her previous life, she married Fu Zhu Yi and even though she wanted the Shen family to help, Shen Xin did not allow thus she was somewhat resentful about it but it was not considered hate. Currently Lu Zhu Yan was in her dying breath, and upon hearing the words that Shen Miao hated her, how would she not be heartbroken? Shen Miao's eyes faded black for a moment and then she looked opposite Chang's AI King again. That female clad in light autumn color was sitting at the chair with some look of impatience. That female was young and had defined features but wore a very heavy makeup, making her look strange. Shen Miao's mouth opened, this was no one else but her. Chang's AI King said with a smile. Fifth young lady must not be annoyed with Furen. It is just that this is a matter of the military so naturally it is very important. The general and older sister most likely have their own thinking thus they be like this. We are all one family. Since I am married into Prince Ding's residence, the prince is also half a Shen family's person. Why does father and mother still treat him as an outsider? I know that father and mother do not like me since young. So they threw me in the Ding capital and not care at all, thus His Highness is also implicated. Chang Zai King smiled again, fifth young lady, what are you saying? Even though general and older sister are not as close to young lady as they were to eldest young master, blood is still thicker than water. I do not care. The young Shen Miao said arrogantly, it is said that King Yi Niang is the smartest. Can you help me to think of a way to let father and mother lend a hand to his highness? Chang Zai King seemed to be in a difficult position and only replied after a while since fifth young lady is Furin's daughter, Furin will definitely dote on fifth young lady. Do not talk about other things, if fifth young lady complain to Furin about some difficulties, perhaps Furin will agree to fifth young lady's condition. If it still does not work. Then one can be when young and make a fuss. She said with a smile, but this is all me saying some nonsense. Fifth young lady do deliberate over. Shin Miao, who was standing at the side watching, had long turned pale. Chang Zai King was not mediating a quarrel. She was clearly provoking one. Shin Miao had recalled that in the previous life Lu Zhu Yan did not tell others of her pregnancy to her miscarriage as she thought to only inform others when the fetus had stabilized. Who knew such an accident occurred midway? Just at the right time, Prince Ding wanted to borrow military from Shen Xin, and naturally Shen Xin was not willing. Shen Miao looked for Chang Zai King to complain, so Chang Zai King led her to act out trashly. Shen Miao did not know Lu Zhu Yan had a miscarriage at that time and just went down. Perhaps at that time Shen Miao only seemed to be talking about some common things, but Lu Zhu Yan was at her weakest and it was tantamount to wearing down Lu Zhu Yan's vitality. To Lu Zhu Yan's viewpoint, Shen Miao said that she hates her, and no mother wishes to be hated by her own children. And at the same time when Shen Miao stabbed Lu Zhu Yan's heart, she still talked about Prince Ding not treating her well and have contradicting views from her, making Lu Zhu Yan worried. After thinking about it, Shen Xing was not in the Ding capital at that time and Lu Zhu Yan was in heartache and worried. After sending off one child after another, no matter how hard-hearted a person was, they would not be able to stand such a blow. Shin Miao hated that she could not go up and scratch that hypocritical smile off Chang Zai King's face. The scenery flashed and then it was another courtyard. That courtyard was restored till it was very elegant. Chang Zai King was wearing a jade green long dress, and there was a maid slowly fanning her. The summer winds were still warm but the fan was immersed in ice, so the wind from the fan was very cooling. 
heard that Furin almost cannot make it. The mama beside Chang Zai King said, the physician said that it would most probably be in these few days time, let the people serve better. Chang Zai King said, do not give others a handle to speak about. The mama agreed and also said, Yi Niang have finally break clear of all hardships. Yes. Chang Zai King picked up the purple grape in the jar to eat, after so many years, finally all hardships have been broken clear. One just do not know about master's side. The general love older sister deeply, naturally he would be sad. Chang Zai King gently smiled, but what does this got to do with me? I only need to sit at the only female position in the eldest household. It is alright if the general does not recognize me, as long as the servants do. The mama also nodded her head, Yi Niang said it correctly. One originally thought that Furin would hold on for a longer time and did not expect to so quickly. The heart is already broken and still worry all day long. With it boiling till now, it is counted that her life is very long. Chang Zai King said lightly, Lu Zhu Yan originally had a good life to be able to marry to such a good family like this, and there were no other females in the residence. Unfortunately she gave birth to Shen Miao, that kind of daughter that spoiled all her good fortune. Shen Miao was startled and heard Chang Zai King continued, trust whatever one says. His Highness Prince Ding's methods are also so high level, that Shen Miao committed herself so deeply to him that she even does not want her own parents. But if Shen Miao was not stupid, how would my good fortune be fulfilled? Shen Miao stood opposite of Chang Zai King. It was a hot summer day, but her heart was as cold as a nice cellar. Shen Miao let people from Prince Ding's residence to send over New Year's gifts and food, and it was all compromised but she did not know at all. She herself was stupid but Lu Zhu Yan doed her so much and ate all the medicinal cuisine up. But she did not know that what her own daughter sent was poison. That day you also saw Shen Miao feeding Lu Zhu Yan medicine. That every spoonful that she fed were all poison, but Lu Zhu Yan was filled with joy. Shen Miao's body trembled and she almost fell down. At that time, in order to persuade Shen Xin to help Fu Ziyu Yi, she wanted to please Lu Zhu Yan so she ordered people to purchase medicinal herbs and learned medicinal cuisine, so that she could make it for Lu Zhu Yan to eat when she returned to the Shen residence. Lu Zhu Yan had always felt that Shen Miao treated her coldly, so naturally she was very happy at her sudden enthusiasm and ate all of it without leaving a spoonful. As it turns out those things were already compromised. Lu Zhu Yan would not suspect her own daughter would harm her. But Shen Miao also did not think that at that time the person beside her, had already taken the opportunity to take advantage. She suddenly felt very cold and uncomfortable as her mind was in chaos. From a non-looker's view, how stupid and vicious was she at that time, she did not have the qualification to be forgiven at all. It was her own hands that pushed her own mother into the road to netherworld. She was the most unfilial person. Lu Zhu Yan was strong in her entire life but lost in her own daughter's hand. Speaking of which, I actually want to thank Shen Miao. Chang Zai King laughed freely, for handing me her mother's life. From now onwards, Whatever I say goes in this Shen family's inner courtyard. Lu Zhu Yan's life was not a failure. If one were to talk about the one matter that she did wrong, it would most probably be giving birth to Shen Miao. Shen Miao is indeed one who harms others. From afar a servant came running in. Her shadow was drawn out to a long line under the summer's sun. Her voice was also sluggish and filled with sweat. Chang Yi Niang, Furin had just breathed her last. Furin is gone. Furin is gone. A rumbling from a thunder was heard spreading out, illuminating the night skies of the Ding capital. As the sound and lightning struck, it covered up all the cries that the person made in the room without a trace. Shen Miao's face was filled with tears as she screamed, Mother, mother, I am wrong, I am wrong. I should not like Fu Ziyu Yi. I will no longer like him anymore. I am wrong, mother, I am wrong. On the edge of the bed, the lightning during the winter day shone on her pale face, making her look more mournful. The purple-clad youth stood by the bed and had a complex look on, as he stared at Shen Miao as she kept on struggling in the nightmare. After a moment, the person who came sighed slightly and reached his hand out, 